Yeah, you know what? I wonder if, because we have so much of everything, uh, if if maybe we should go ahead and kill all these batteries and then just set like one battery up top here and just let that basically be the battery that just powers everything for a while. Then we'll move, then we'll basically take this uh, space that we have here uh, and just put more storage there. Just make this like a storage area. Um, it might be fun if they could do multi servers, kind of like Atlas does. How does Atlas do it? Let me go and deconstruct this. We don't need this anymore. More smart batteries. Well, I was definitely going to kill these things first. So we guys should go ahead and uh, deconstruct. And then we'll have, we'll get a better look at what we have to work with here. <clears throat> they can't even breathe down here. It was just a relaxing game to play. Oh, what, what did you, like, what, what did you, what was your progression like? Like, what did you do that and this is no I'm, Hoan, like, this is no judgment like I am genuinely curious because I feel like I'm missing out on on something in No Man's Sky right like I want to get in there in VR just play the game and you know in VR just you know, I don't know I don't know just, just progress and do stuff like better ship more crafting like what what is it I take so much time in a DayZ mod, a game with no true goal except- Oh yeah, exactly! We've all done that, right? We've all played those games that just- there are no- <laughs> It's no end! <laughs> oh, Corey. Mean. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it was just something- it's just- it's just something that came up. Um, you know, we should take this and move it over one slot. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that. What is what size is that one? That is the that's the big guy, isn't it? Yeah, large tra power transformer. Yeah, it is. And then we'll do a nine on that. We'll move it over just a wee bit. <laughs> Made out of gold. Is what it is. And then I guess we can have the the wire actually goes straight through a jumbo battery. We'll put two batteries up there and we'll clear the bottom one. That way we still have those two smart batteries going. One, two. Good. Make them out of gold. Ugh. Fine. There's a multi-transformer now. What? Let me see. Oh, there's a there's a power transformer and there's a large power transformer. The smaller one just has an output of 1,000 watts. You can see right there. And the other one is, uh, is four, 4K. So it's a pretty big difference in power. Uh, so... But we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to use that run now. Let's deconstruct this, or should we let the power run out on it? How is that hooked up to anything? Hold on. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we can just kill this whole line. Beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. We actually... And we'll, we'll get back some of the resources that we spent on these cables, which we desperately need, because these are made out of what? Aluminum ore. Which, how much aluminum ore do we have? Well, let's go and take a look. Not a lot. I mean, that's a, that's a bit. That's okay. Okay, I, I lied. That's a that's a bit. But that's not a lot, considering there's no more ore anywhere on this fucking rock, so... <sighs> I don't think. A list of names for dupes, and if so, can I get on it? Hey, you know what you asked? You get on it. I've got a pretty full party right now. Uh, 8 to 10 is usually where I end up uh, kind of stopping. Unless I, you know, split things up and really start, uh, developing rocketry or something. Uh, let me say, so, I'm gonna have, yeah, let's we'll use aluminum ore. And then, and there we go. And then we can get rid of that little piece of cable right there. Power wire is good. Is it gonna get it? Oh, it did, okay. Hmm. Cool. Zap, 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 zap. One more, one more zap. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. Whoops. Automation, too. Damn. <laughs> so first, let's go ahead and kill that. And then we'll add some more automation. Wires made out of aluminum. Good. And then this just tells those to turn off. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And at least it'll tell them to turn on to get started here. Right now, we have no power to anything, I don't think. <laughs> There, now it's gone. <clears throat> what is the output on uh, these again? 800, 1600 watts. Yeah, so that's going to fill up super fast. And then everything else is not running full time, so we don't have to really worry about it. We have this entirely passive liquid delivery system. 
<laughs> it's really ridiculous when you look at it like this, isn't it? There's a ton. Uh, you have been building far more airflow tiles than you need. That could be a good source of ores as well. So what do you suggest then? Like, replace it with, uh, I like having just a free airflow, not having anything built up. But, I mean, obviously both of these use a metal. Uh, are you suggesting that I use just plain tiles? Because this is great. I mean, look at this. Nice and open. I mean, maybe it's a lot, but like up here, I just have like these few. Hmm. Starvation. Get out of here, Martha. Oh, God damn it, Martha. Every time. I swear, Martha. Every time. What is wrong with Martha's schedule? That just constantly. Martha must not get enough. Oh, you know what? Martha doesn't have enough downtime. Everyone else has two, but Martha only has one! <laughs> damn, that's fucked up. Alright, that's why Martha's always starving. Doesn't have enough downtime to go eat. Yucks. Plain tiles, huh? You know... I don't know about that. I don't know. I mean, even, I mean, even like, Igneous Rock, I could replace it with that. That might be better. Uh, so at the very least, I could control the, uh... Well, no, I wouldn't really control the heat. I, you know... Uh, Sand Grain... <clears throat> well, I don't agree with doing it now because I like to have like nice open airflow in the in certain areas and then I then I block things off right with uh, insulated tile. Um, I do have a feeling that because I'm this this asteroid is so starved for um, everything that uh, that's gonna have to that's gonna be an eventuality, right? I might have to actually sacrifice these tiles because I'm gonna need that metal. There's like 400 metal per each one or something, right? Let me see or 200. Oh, it's 100. Still though. 100 times what? <laughs> a lot. I think the mesh tiles are the ones that took like 400. Oh, they're also 100. Oh, okay, so not too bad. Oh, really? They're 100, huh? They're both? Wait, both of these are 100? Huh. I thought for sure one was more expensive. Huh. Uh, meantime, though, we need to go ahead and um, build some more. And we'll cut it off like right there. That way we can build this ladder all the way down so they don't stop doing dumb shit. Actually, wait, I was going to build that ladder all the way up. No, I'm not. Nah, Tito mine. We're going to deconstruct that and deconstruct this. <clears throat> Is that water drainage area stable with water gain loss? I uh, wait, where at? Oh shit! Yeah, this pipe's blocked. Oh my god. They filled it with their own urine. <laughs> uh <laughs> I knew I knew eventually they would get there. But they got there pretty fast. Yikes. So we're gonna have to, uh, pump some of this water somewhere else. And this water is actually pretty cool. Like, it's not... Where should I dump it water, though? I should run it over here. Okay, can I get run it over there? I guess I'll pipe it. I could pipe it down into here. Um, how should I do this in a way that is sustainable? Like, this doesn't have a trigger on it. Like, I can't have the automated whenever it's full to trigger something, right? Yeah, no. That'd be great. When full, trigger a valve. Um, but I think, I think I'll just go ahead and just run a pipe that just goes out and just merges into this. That way it just dumps it in. So it has to come out of an out. So we'll go right there and we'll just merge it in for now. We'll put a, uh, we'll, we will put a valve on it just so we can control the flow. Let me see it out there. Maybe we could go straight across. Yeah. The water will have germs would be at 40 degrees Celsius coming out of the sieve. <clears throat> I don't really have too much of a problem with, um, germs yet. Like no, like food poisoning a couple times. No slime lung, considering like what guys are going in, just like just raw dogging the fucking slime uh, uh, biome. So not really worried about that. But I think if I go and I take this and I and I and I uh, take the skimmer off the toilet loop and give it its own purifier, take the skimmer off the. I I have a water tank, but it's full now because it's, it's full of urine um, and sh sh waste and everything else. <laughs> Take the skimmer off the toilet loop and give it its own purifier. You mean the, the water sieve? Oh, oh, this, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. No, you're right. Um, it hasn't really run for a long time, but yeah, that, that's probably, uh, I should probably go ahead and first disable it. But let's go ahead, let's go ahead and just get the water out first. My favorite relaxing game is Viscera Cleanup Detail. You need to play more. Oh, shit. That game was actually really cool. The only problem, and it's not really a problem, but um, because I'm sure it's been either it's been balanced by time because computers are so much stronger than they were, uh, or can I go all the way in that bitch? No, I can't. Okay, we'll just go and merge it down here with this. But the the the, the biggest uh, issue I had with that game was that the performance was so bad 
Like when I, I played it with Darnell and it was just like, oh my god, the performance was so bad. But um, <clears throat> it's probably fine now. Oh, that's right, the liquid shutoff grid. I forgot about that. Let's just use liquid valve for now and we'll just control it manually. Uh, it's upside down. Oop. Like a giant room just for just water. Oh yeah, now I have a, all these right here. This is all, you know, just water. But it's being used faster than it can be uh, binned, so. Runs good now, shit. The game was a lot of fun. Copy settings. I'll do it again in a second because they're zooming on this. What is the... Oh, good. Fives. Get the pipes built. And this will allow me to just... I'll just drain one of the clean water things all the way. Just basically kill the whole thing. And then uh, and then I'll just seal it off. And that way it goes back to its regular loop. The carbon skimmer is off now. So we'll see if that helps prevent some extra liquids from getting in there. <clears throat> Runs good now. Huh. Huh. <laughs> it was such a silly concept, but man, it's such a good game. If you haven't played Viscara Cleanup Detail, what it is is basically a game where you... You show up to, like, a space station or something, or to, like, some area that the Doom guy had already visited, right? So, like, there's tons of just... Just bodily waste and parts and blood and everything and you're the janitor and you have to go through and you have to clean it up and so you're like picking up bodies and picking up uh uh you know mopping up blood and everything uh just trying just trying you know just trying to get it clean you got a little bucket that you can pull around with you <laughs> if you haven't seen darnell play it like i highly recommend it i think it's a pretty good breakdown of just just the generalities of the game yeah it's good stuff though all right so now we're pumping in uh just put it on as honest day's work. Curious now. So now we have this water going in that is, uh, it's alternating. So there's the hot water from the bin, and then there's the water that we just got, or the hot water from the, uh, uh, the natural geyser, and then there's the slightly cooler water. And so we should see an alternating number here, but we don't actually. Wow, it's stabilized. Huh. Look, it goes in 115. Pause. 115, and then 94. And then 115, 94, 115, 94. But it comes out all the same. So I guess in this process of cooling, it actually mixes it together? It's 100 degree water, which is, we should know, not as cool as we would like. Um, over here, this water is a little bit cooler, 87 degrees, because it's smaller chunks. So that's, uh, it's fine, it's 100 degrees, it's not gonna hurt anything. We just want to get this thing empty. And actually, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and uh, we'll slow down the drip a little bit. That way we're not slowly warming up that water supply. 90, 90, 90, 90 degrees is still pretty warm. And if it gets any any hotter than that, then we're going to have a problem. <clears throat> Do they adjust this automatically? Well, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. What is it putting through? Uh, so it's doubling the contents. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Just doubling the contents. But... Regardless, it's, it's emptying this out slowly. And actually, I wonder if I could match this up. Make that 200. Did that take? No, it did not. 200. There we go. Uh, if I make it 200, then we should see an even 2,000 grams or, uh, uh, oh. Oh, they haven't updated it yet. Yeah, so, yeah, there you go. 2,000. So, 2,000 grams of water at... What is this? Just putting a hard hit. Not that I know what that is. <laughs> Damn, you're a... I can't hold a job, man. Come on. Come on, man. Alright, so so now we have uh, smaller water. Smaller water. Tiny, tiny little drips of water going through. But it'll be just enough to relieve pressure here, I think. So long as we're not producing an excess of 200 grams of uh, of, of waste per second, basically. So that that's good. We don't have to dump it out, empty it out now. We just want to get it so that it's slowly... Uh, so it's cooling a little bit better. So, let me see. So we should see this... Ooh, it's getting hot. I wonder if it's because it's getting too hot in here. My ice biome is, uh... Losing the battle. Look at that. Yikes. Over here we have the other water. Oh no, look at that. Even the larger 
water globules are still pretty warm. 103. It is cooling down. Let me see what happens. 103, 103.5. And there, now, it, now it's back down to the smaller bit, 101. So, oof, man. Huh. What do we do about that? We're losing our, uh... Should I try to figure out how to get this thing to work? Might be an idea. It just needs hydrogen. I have a... I do have... Something... Something is cranking out... Oh yeah, this guy is cranking out hydrogen. Hmm. No, I, I just found it, San. Uh, but I'm wondering if I should... Because this thing has um, a pipe that'll take oxygen out through the pipe, right? The pipe's blocked right now because there's nothing here. So this is not the one that we should use because it's not working right now. We need something that's constantly generating hydrogen. I don't have any other uh, sources of hydrogen, really. I may have, like, you know, this, but that's not going to do much. Um, this is a salt water geyser. Yeah, we haven't found any other geysers or anything like that. So yeah, we do have to figure out a way to, uh... Yeah, we have the mod- I have the modded one. It just outputs oxygen, but it keeps hydrogen in the vicinity. And so I wonder if I should create, like, a small room? Pump the oxygen out, put that into, you know, our system somewhere. Uh, just have it, like, pump out here. And then pump the air out of the room. Or, so pump the hydrogen out of the room and collect that to go over here to the machine. I think that might be the thing to do. Um, we just have to create a small room that's, that'll be for that purpose. Rust. Sure, let's click thrust. What speed are we moving at here? This is, uh, 3x speed? Okay, good. Let's slow it down just a little bit. <clears throat> just a little bit. Just so I can figure out what I want to do here. We have power, we don't have power going over here, but we have water coming over here, which is... I mean, that's a key part to making the electrolyzer work, so maybe we could steal some of that water. This might be a good spot for it right here. We can vacuum out all that, all this nasty, pretty quickly. Uh, we have water coming in from here. We would use it all, though. We would 100% use it all. Oh, I, I figured this would be a mess. Look at that. I had to redo this. these pipes. I, I, I can't imagine. Yeah, pipes blocked here. I can't imagine that it's going to start filling out this one, is it? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I, I hooked up the hoses on that all wrong. Um, yeah, I think this little spot right here might be a good spot. What's the temperature in here? Ah, it doesn't matter. It's going to get super hot anyways. Let's go ahead and build a small little vacuum room. A room to vacuum, I should say. <clears throat> we'll make it out of whatever crap we have. And then let's see... What I want to... Actually, we should probably at least go ahead and seal this up. This would be a good idea. Should I do that one? No, I can't reach it. There we go. So let's go ahead and grab... Oh, a smart storage bin. I haven't messed with that at all yet. Let's make a box with a pump and electrolyzer. Pump, filter the pump out into the room. It's only hydrogen. Once done, remove the filter. Let's make a box with a pump and the electro... Well, I don't know. Let me just do what I was going to do. <laughs> I appreciate the help, but I like to just do things. Um, so pipe electrolyzer. Which uses actually a, an excess of power. And I have to pump air out of this room anyways. There's no passive air delivery system that I have in here. So I don't know if I should use... I shouldn't use the... Like this is four times the amount of power. When I could just use a... Is that what you were saying? Like use a, use a filter to, to divvy up the power? To divvy up the uh, oxygen or the gas I should say? Anyways, yeah, I think that's probably the best bet. So let me go ahead and put this over here. We still have to have a, a pump. Uh, to the ventilation pump, ventilation, so we get a gas pump. Gas filter. Should I use it? No, the gas filter uses a lot of power. I believe I could just use a gas valve or a switch in order to divvy that up pretty easily. And then, let me see, so, um, mm, oops, not there. Let me put a little door right there. Manual airlock. <clears throat> then... They're so cute in these environmental suits. <laughs> I know, and it's so necessary. <laughs> like, it is so necessary for them to have this. Uh, let me see. So I have the... Gas pipe thermal sensor, gas element sensor, so... 
How did I do this before? Gas pipe, well, it doesn't use any, so it just uses the gas shutoff. There is a way you go, like, through the gas shutoff. So that way you have, you're, like, toggling it back and forth. I wonder if I could build that again. Hope I can. Let me see. Where would I put this thing? I guess right here would probably be a good spot. It goes in. And then it'll go past it if it's one thing and go... Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me put it upside down here then. That way it'll... Yeah, so it should work like this. So we're gonna suck the suck the suck the air up. It's gonna go in here, and then it's gonna go up, and then we'll put it somewhere. I'm not sure where. For now, though, let's just put it right here. It's just oxygen, so it'll it'll eventually filter itself out. Uh, we don't have plastic or anything to make a high pressure vent. What is that we're missing here? Yeah, no plastic. So we'll just use this. Is how how much is this? Yeah, it's barely breathable down here, so it's fine. Uh, and then the other uh, ventilation hose will go down to this is gonna be the hydrogen. And this is going to just make its trip. Oh gosh, how did I mess all that up? We're going to hug this just that, just in case we decide to come back and uh, run something else. Do, 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 do. We go straight through this. Boom. And then good. Yeah. Okay, so now that's going to load it up with uh, hydrogen as we get it. Although I don't know if we're going to generate that much hydrogen in this tiny little room. Remains to be seen. So the next thing we need to do is just some automation. So we don't have the- I can't actually see the automation. Oh, I can. Good. Uh, so for this, this is going to go to a sensor. We'll put the sensor, like, right... Oh... I'll put it right here. I'll just kill this ladder. It's fine. It's fine. It's just one ladder. Uh, and then we'll put the... Gas pipe element sensor. And we'll put it right there. As soon as they're done... Tearing apart that thing. Speed things up. No, no. Did my order get removed? No, it's still, it's still there. I think my order is like a five or something like that. And all my build orders are all like a nine, so. It takes me a long time to do this because I, uh, because I gave them suits, <laughs> so now they can only use the suits when they're ready, uh, and they can only use the suits when they are uh, charged, and there's only so many of them, so. Alright, how about instead of making me wait for this, ladder, no, there we go, perfect, thank you. Now, before they leave, let's go and get the sensor, how we can figure the sensor, and get that going. So, gas element sensor, make that like an emergency or something. <laughs> And then they leave. <laughs> Fix it! Good. Okay, so I haven't built this yet, but they're getting there. So for this one, we're gonna say uh, it's gonna turn on the valve whenever it senses hydrogen. So what it should do, hypothetically, is... It'll... Yeah, it'll just pull the hydrogen. Oh, we haven't run the pipe or the power. Fuck. <sighs> we're getting ahead of ourselves. So, what should I take a split from this? I mean, I mean, that's, 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 that's what we plan on doing. It just seems like it's a dangerous thing to do is just take our water right out of this thing. But, uh, what if I should take it from incoming and then I can increase the water coming in from, cause it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold water. It basically, once it electrolyzes it, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. I think in temperature, uh, it could be wrong, but let's just go ahead and hook it up from here. We'll make changes as we go. Whoops. That's fine. Whatever gets them to make it, now. Uh, power. We don't need conductive wire, but we need some kind of wire. We'll, we'll just match this wire here, because if I do non-conductive wire, I feel like I might find a way to break. Uh, oh, this does. I think it's cheap, though. It's like 80 watts, I think, for that, right? Anyways, let's see. I should need gold. I'm going to use this. That, move that across. Oh, my gosh. Everything's an emergency. It's fine. So, hydrogen. And that's gonna tell this thing to turn on. This should just work. It's a great big should, but it should just work. Oh, does it? Now there's a, uh, there's a vacuum in here. 
don't know what that's going to do to my setup here, but at least we should be able to get this thing working, right? I mean, I, I've never used this thing, so we'll see. <clears throat> there it goes. Now I see. How's it working? Uh, no hydrogen yet. No hydrogen yet. No hydrogen. Oh, it skipped it. Hmm. Did I do it wrong? Oh, it's Bill. You know why? It's because no, there's no output here. Okay. So instead of actually, well, we know we we still want to actually get this thing about as close to a vacuum as we can. But I kind of. Screwed turning it off and on because I have a switch. Oh, you know what I could do? Actually, you know what I could do? I could put a uh, a switch that I can interact with. Yeah, this is a manually toggled by a duplicate, but I think I could do it myself by just do like a thermo sensor or something. <laughs> Atmospheric sensitivity, where pressure ends at a certain range. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll do it. And that will turn off the machines. Right? So we could control... Yeah, this is a temporary thing, I think. Cheap temporary. Uh, electrolytes produce gas at minimum 70 degrees Celsius or higher is the water if the water is hotter. Generally, the water should be as hot as possible because it's easier to cool oxygen than it is to cool the water. Ah, oh, there you go. I remember there was a way that people were doing, like, uh, people were, like, swapping. If I do this, if it's above that, boom, good, off. Now we can just let this thing work and just continue to clean that, uh, vacuum out that room. As best it can, but it looks like it's running into, uh, pressure issues up here. Yikes! I figure that might end up being a problem later on. Not right now. It's kind of a small area for it to really, to fill up, so it's... I kind of get it. Kind of get it. I should open this up, let it go up there. Hmm. Give it more space to breathe. But yeah, there was a way that people were, uh, basically exchanging hot water for, like, an immediate, like, cool water output. Like, the sieve would always put out water at, like, 70 degrees Fahrenheit or something. And, um, and so people were basically using a sieve just to cool water. Uh, the pressure issue at the vent will enable other guys to flow against the filter. Huh? Uh... I know, I, 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 I know what I'm doing with this one, I'm saying. Thank you, though. But I'll let you know. Pump out and gas. That's what we wanted. Pump out and gas. But we still got to get this whole thing built. Uh, but yeah, right now, it's just this, this, this area that I put this vent in is just a little too tight. So there's not enough room for it to really expand. So it's pushing air into it. I'm, I'm pushing gas into this space. And so it's over. It's basically just reaching the, the upper limit of this, which is like 1800 or something. I don't know what the pressure limit is, but it's, it's not that much. Does it actually say somewhere? It's, I want to say it's like 1800 or 2000 or something. We should probably move it somewhere else though. Where there's more room. More room to grow. How do we hold on a second? Hold on a second. Before we commit to that. Is there a... You know what? We could just go straight up here. Let's go ahead and kill this. We don't need that anymore. Our natural gas is just... Fuck, I'm telling you we have so much. So much natural gas. <clears throat> and you know, let's um Ooh, that's nasty. The way I did this was kind of bad. We'll just leave that alone. And then we'll go. God damn it. <laughs> Everything is an emergency. And then I think if I just go maybe like right up here, there should be enough room for it to uh, to breathe. Once you get a high pressure vent though, it's not gonna matter. We can just put that anywhere we want and it'll do the job. Uh, let's see, good. Yeah, that's right. I'll kill this. Is it done? Not yet. We're getting close. I don't know how much hydrogen this thing's gonna need, but I have a feeling it's gonna be more than what I could get out of a single electrolyzer. Honestly. <laughs> Thanks, Sand. <laughs> that don't, don't don't work with me, man. <laughs> it's I for me. I need like a nine and a half. I need like a nine point five. 
in order to work effectively. There you see, bristleberry. Let's get some bristleberry. That puts us actually over our food limit, I think. Yeah, this thing's full. Oh, almost. What is it at now? They just loaded more 89. Oh yeah, we're good. So we got a vacuum in here. Uh, this thing is almost done. Almost. For Mike, if it's getting done, it's a nine. If it needs done, it's also a nine. If it can be done later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. I'm, I, I'm really bad at, uh, at prioritizing in that I just don't, I guess I don't like really micro my, uh, time organization or my priority uh, organization very much. I just, just hope that it works. It's just like, oh yeah, you know what? It's just, uh, if it needs to be done right now, nine, just exactly, exactly what Iris said. If it can be done later, it's like eight. <laughs> If it's not like this being like in their downtime or whatever, it's like a five. It's like, eh, it's a five, which is, I think, normal. That's normal. So close, so close. So close. I just want to see this thing work. It's it's triggering uh, on the hydrogen, but it's not really, um... It's not going down that pipe because it's not connected to anything. So, boom, boom, and... Uh, it doesn't need power, right? I don't think so. No, just gas. Okay, cool. So do you think a mile of the changes priority says I only have three numbers in it? Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, cool. It's there. Waiting hydrogen. It's built. We could go ahead and take this and say it below. And that'll turn everything on. Now we can uh, watch this. Ah, it works beautifully. Not a whole lot of hydrogen, though. Which we kind of expected. But it's really not a lot of hydrogen. How's the water? Okay, good. So we're still getting water going over here. It's taking, uh, it's taking a pretty good chunk, but you know what? That's pretty good. It's definitely not enough hydrogen to do anything, I don't think. Not this. Let's see. Look how warm it is over here. 101 degrees, 102 degrees. I wonder how long it's going to take for it to uh, cool. Let's speed things up. Oh, it's already working. 98 degrees. That's pretty fast. The AETN is not, isn't that demanding. Oh, good. Good to know. Like I said, it's my first time even seeing one in the game. So, yeah. This is great. That's what I want to see. I want to see it, uh, you know, get, get this thing cooled and just basically start defeating some of this. Why does it get so hot when it comes through? It was 89 degrees and then, oh, okay, it's radiant. So it's, um, it's insulated. The water inside is 94 degrees. What's wrong? Building broken. What is broken? Pneumatic door. Oh yeah, that thing's been broken. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, let me see. There is. I do have to get some more research going though. Let's go ahead. We're just gonna cap off everything that we can. We're at that point now. We're just basically finishing things. So finish that. The amount of cooling will disappoint me. No. <laughs> That's what I don't want to hear. Ah, okay. So now, now you're right. So it's not using that much hydrogen. I am backing the system up here. Um, which is the worst the worst case scenario is it's just going to go up and it's going to get jammed up here or something. <laughs> I'm already jamming it up here. This is good though. This means I have like plenty of breathable air everywhere. Fantastic. No, this is supposed to, this is supposed to be the chosen one. Are you kidding me? Let's see. Water's coming out. Uh, liquid pipe. It's the water's coming out at uh, 96 degrees. So it is cooling off. It was a hundred degrees. So it is kind of working. I wonder if I should um, go ahead and start wrapping another another pipe going through all this. No, because it's then it's going to like freeze in the pipes and everything. Eh. Worst case is that the oxygen hot <laughs> destroys. <laughs> it should. Well, it should. Oh, there is oxygen. How oxygen get in the line? Oh, because it's jammed up over here. Oh, shit. Well, what's it made out of? Iron. Fuck, how much iron do I have? <laughs> None. <laughs> uh man, what do I do? How much damage would it do? That's a lot. That's not gonna work. Fuck. Is that actually cooling? Just barely.
What can I... I guess I could put a actual gas filter and that will stop that from happening. I mean, this is this is just basically an automation setup that's designed to, to separate it, but it needs free-flowing gas. And we're not going to get free-flowing gas out of this setup. I guess unless I turn off the electrolyzers over here or something, because I have so much breathable air here. Like, I just... I, it's It's... We're doing so well <laughs> that this is uh, proving to be not so. Uh, thing. Are they, I could put another separator, but that's going to require a power line going all the way down here. I have power over there. Like, look, power stops over here. Um, I can, I can just snip it and just let that gas just, you know, I can just put something there, just let that gas just disperse, uh, and then we could start over. Like, that's probably what we have to do right now, just to prevent this thing from taking any kind of damage. <clears throat> that sucks. It's not what I wanted to do. Canister empty. Oh, it's a canister emptier. Canister filler. Fuck, man. Yeah, we have to stop this. There's always- yeah, thank you, Sam. Yes, there is always something, isn't there? Let's go ahead and deconstruct this and we're gonna put an actual gas filter in. We'll get rid of this. We're gonna just get rid of my automation setup. Do it now. Good. So that's off now. And then, uh, obviously we still have stuff in the lines, so this is gonna be a huge pain. So what we'll do is we'll just snip, like, from here to here, just make sure we get it. So that'll keep that there. And then what we'll do is, um, I might just release all this into this. It's not a lot of gas, so we'll just put a vent somewhere and they'll just release it all. Which probably just take a second, actually. Let me go and put that down. Ventilation. Yeah, we'll just put it, like, in the middle or something. Stat! And then we're just gonna use a regular old filter. Just a regular-ass filter. This should empty the lines. <laughs> not if it's over pressure, it's not! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. How about, how about we, uh, how about then we just do this? This is so silly. First, let's turn this off. You stop, so below... Have a good night. Thanks for joining us. So turn this off. This will create a vacuum pretty quickly. Yeah, it's already already there actually. And then and then and then and then. Gone. Done. Good. Now I'll take this. Oh oh oh! It's actually it's dumping. Oh good, it's dumping. Fantastic, it's done. Good. I didn't realize this thing doesn't use that much. And yeah, you're right, I am disappointed in, in the amount of cooling that it can actually achieve. It's not a lot at all. Um, obviously I'm pumping so much hot liquid in this area using radiant pipes that I'm, uh... You know, probably doing more damage than, than good here. Um... I guess I could run it up here. I could just run, in a, a run a loop. And just let that do its thing. That might be the way to go here. But first, let's go ahead and get this separation complete. That was my research is done. Research done. Nice. Let's go ahead and get that one now. Did someone say a hot pump in my area? Yeah. <laughs> Thank God chat's on the screen, otherwise... Everyone on YouTube would be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, let me see. Refinement? No, no, no. Uh, ventilation. Gas filter. So, regular old gas filter. And then we will... Oh, we have to redo some of this piping in general. So, seven. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, so do it from there and do it from there. And then when they come back, they'll do that. Oh, cool. Do it right now. Don, it's working that night shift, buddy. Let me see. I don't want to do... God, it's kind of a clumsy way of building this. <clears throat> it kind of sucks, but... We'll just go around it, I guess, with a bridge. <laughs> it's a very clumsy way of building this, but it'll work. Oh, jeez. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's right on the power line, too, so that'll... That at least part... That part is taken care of. And then we'll go... Boop. And then we'll go... Boop. I hate doing this this close proximity because 
this basically means that nothing can ever get past like through here unless I go well, unless I go over this side. But when you build things so close like this, you lose the ability to like hopscotch your gas lines like over things, right? Like leapfrog them and make like a crazy fucking spaghetti mess. <laughs> uh, no filter selected. Yes, yes, yes. We want to put hydrogen in there. Hydrogen. Okay. Now, now if it gets backed up, it won't just dump oxygen in here like a jerk. It, again, we're not even really using that much hydrogen, so uh, if hydrogen gets pumped elsewhere, I guess that's kind of okay, but maybe, you know what? No. No. No, we should do this right. We should do this right. Build a gas reservoir. That is the proper way to do it. And so we'll build it right here. And that should be enough. Like two, maybe? What's it made out of? Copper is fine. And then we will... We have to chain them together. This is not the uh, right way to do it here, so... And that's not the right way to plug that in either. So output, input, ventilation, vented. So we'll go up. Then we'll go up from here, and then over to here, and then out there. There we go. Hopefully that, that all is handled right. So this way we have a little bit of buffer, because otherwise this line is going to get filled up pretty quickly. You can see already that this thing is not... It's flooded. <laughs> oh my god. Please mop that whenever you get a chance. <sighs> Man. There is always oh, something. Sad, what up? Find a catch you live. Thanks for that. Tier two. What up? What's going on? How been? Thank you. Was it 50, 50 months on the dot? Four years, two months. Almost half a decade. Been watching all your VODs and never get you live. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to play catch up. Oh man, uh, I do that with uh, StarCraft. <laughs> it's, I I saw the finals for the last KSL, um, but I realized I didn't watch like any of the. Uh, what was it? Because oh, it was like over the holidays, and so yeah, I was too busy. I didn't have a chance to watch it, and so yeah, I basically did the same thing. I just went and watched a whole bunch of uh, of vods, like actually on Twitch, because I'm really bad at posting those vods for KSL. Is, like is Brood War, it's StarCraft One, so. There's not like a huge demand for it in the States, so they don't really care. But in Korea, boy, it's all over the place. I just gotta learn Korean to get it over with. Um, just finished GTFO. Wasn't that a blast? Even though we didn't like... We didn't beat anything. <laughs> it was still a blast. Go and cancel that one. EU times make it hard to watch live stream. The struggle! I know, I know. And you know, eventually... Eventually... Um, we're gonna get to the point where... Uh, I think where Declan's gonna start coming home after school. And so the stream time will get pushed earlier. So I'll end, instead of streaming, like, why not I stream every day one to five, right? Uh, instead of that, it'll end up being maybe more like nine to one or something. Um, but we'll see, you know, we'll see. I don't know how that's gonna work. And that's probably gonna, uh, that's gonna unfortunately probably alienate a lot of people, which sucks, but <laughs> I mean, fuck. <laughs> 901 is good for you. Oh, there you go. There you go. Well, that's enough for me. <laughs> I feel like all my Aussie friends are all gonna be like, no. Yeah, see, hold on. I know, but don't worry. That's like years away. Like, that's like, that's seriously like years away. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem anytime soon. Hey, Taylor, while you work, some nights are a VOD only experience for me because it's usually in the very early morning. Yeah. Yeah, some nights are, uh, been a lot of fun lately. I feel like this community is finally kind of gotten its shit together. We don't just bitch people out for no reason. We still bitch, but not, we don't bitch people out. Oh shit, it's uh, fucked up. It doesn't turn into like a... a, a bitch fest. <laughs> there we go. Boy, this snip mod is super fucking good. <laughs> Jesus. And what was that? What did you say? The uh, I missed that. What did you say? The, the lights were amazing. Yeah, the lights are great. The lights will work with anything, you know? Like, I can actually turn it on right now for oxygen not included. I don't know what it would do. Let's, there's a bunch of, like, hyper-saturated different types of colors here. Let's try it. Let's turn it on. Let's see what it does. Let me see. Whoops. That's my, that's my background there. Let me see. Start light sync. We'll do uh, games and we'll do... There we go. Boom. Hey, it matches, though! Look at that! <laughs> now let's see if I move to the blue. Hey, not too bad. Go over here to the orange. Wow! 
if it's blue. 